Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Really, really long time no see because school just got really hard really fast. But I'm finally back here with the much requested 10 things I love and hate about Georgetown. But it's really going to be love and dislike because there's nothing really that I hate hate and I don't want to say hate just because it's really hard for me to hate something. Um, anyways, I have work soon so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So let's start off with things that I dislike because I don't want to end this video on a negative note. So um, number one, this campus is filled with hills and stairs. So it is called the Hilltop for a reason and I knew that coming but I did not know how annoying it would get to literally not be able to go anywhere without climbing at least three or four flights of stairs and going up one hill. So it's just the grounds are not level I cannot get to my dorm without going upstairs um, yeah I have noticed a significant increase in my thigh strength since I have arrived and so yeah that's just something really simple but ends up making a difference over time I already knew that college food wasn't good but I did not think it would be like this so we have one dining hall with an upstairs that has you, um, individual cuisines at each place and then a downstairs kind of all-you-can-eat buffet area and the downstairs food is just like imagine taking your favorite foods and then making it have no flavor and then like a little bit lukewarm so yeah basically it just takes every kind of food that you think you like and then makes it like subpar and that's honestly kind of why I didn't get freshman 15, just because the options are just... Number three is the plumbing. Georgetown has, like, some serious plumbing issues. Um, all three toilets in my cluster are currently clogged. Um, the showers often flood, and the laundry rooms flood. Basically, the facilities aspect of this is just not great. I mean it's not gonna be like a hotel and number four another oh my god another one of those things the doors here are so heavy every I have never opened a light door like everything hurts me my arms I think have like become really buff just from opening the doors uh, it's a no for me number five is that there's not really a sports culture so we obviously have um, D1 sports teams and also an amazing basketball coach Patrick Ewing all that stuff I don't even know that much about sports so I don't even okay whatever basically I came from a school my high school had a lot of school spirit and we don't really have that so we have good athletes but not good sports spirit number six is the parties here mm -hmm. um I'm not sure if people know this, but because it's a Catholic Jesuit school, we don't have university recognized fraternities and sororities because Greek life kind of really goes against the values. Um, so instead, what usually happens is the frats and sororities on campus are kind of formatted more like clubs, but they don't have their own house. We have this place called Henley Village. It's a junior housing unit and it's like apartments and that's where all the parties are. On campus there's like pre games around there there's like a village a townhouse area that has parties but it just ends up being a lot of people crowded together in a really really small no air circulation space usually they run out of stuff I just think these are not the best parties I've been to in my life so yes I like that there are still party it's not like a, a com it's not a dry campus whatsoever I'm just saying that if you're looking to be like partying hard there are better options it's not awful here but it's not the best number seven is that it's so expensive to go to school here um, the ubers because you can't have cars and the food everything is like four or five dollars more than I'm used to and just the little things really add up. Number eight is the club culture. Uh, basically, Georgetown's version of like frats and sororities is in the clubs. Sorry, my memory card ran out of space. I'm back. 
Okay. So the club culture, as I was saying, there's an interview process. You have to submit your resume. There are non-exclusive clubs, but those usually are not as popular. So it's just more exclusive and you really have to put yourself out there and make an effort to join clubs that you like so that you make friends. And that's just something that some people may struggle with that I wanted to also mention. Um, number nine is part of me does like that there's only it's like a very small student body i think it's around 7500 but that's also something i dislike because that's a fewer people you, to meet and be friends with first of all and second of all you always run into people that you kind of don't want to run into and it's true every day i see at least like honestly i see everyone i know anywhere i go because it's just so concentrated everyone's together and then number 10 is um a lack of diversity so I knew the statistics coming in but it's definitely noticeable and it is a predominantly white school um, there are a lot of culture clubs that kind of help break down those barriers but definitely I do wish there was more diversity um, I mean you find your people but it's just something that I think is slowly getting worked on just as the years go by but that's the last thing I wanted to say for dislikes. And now moving on to the things I like slash love. So number one is that I love that we have a small campus because it's so much easier to get around. Um, there are people who have bikes, but I personally don't think it's necessary, especially with the hills. And so for other people who go to big campus schools, they have to walk so far to get to class, to get to the dining hall. But everything here is I, within 10 minute walk, honestly. Like you can walk across campus in 10 to 12 minutes. And number two is is the gym I really like our gym there's only one because we do have only a few students but it's really nice equipment and I really haven't had a problem with like not having equipment and we have a pool and it's just really nice and it's never overcrowded just because it accommodates everyone nicely number three is the location we are in the country's capital and there are so many good restaurants shops and opportunities um, you can go to the monuments and go on a run I don't run so not me there's like the cherry blossoms you can go to the waterfront it's amazing and it's like one of my favorite things and everyone should explore DC even if they don't want to come here number four is the meal plan so I was talking about how I don't like the food but I really like the meal plan structure so you can choose unlimited with a certain number of flex so flex is kind of the campus cash so you can use that um, as part of your meal plan to purchase things that you can't really get for a meal exchange which is like a set meal for a swipe I don't know if I'm making sense but anyways I really like how there's weekly numbers of swipes which you can use to go to the buffet or get like an entree and a drink but there's also like a cash equivalent that is tax-free on campus that you can use to purchase things like chick-fil-a or beverages and snacks from the campus grocery stores number five I just said this on my dislike list but I I also like the club culture so I dislike the club culture for the reasons I said and I like it because it's where you meet your closest friends and really develop your own self and find your sense of who you are because in the end, no one's forcing you to apply to things. So the things you apply to are normally things you like. And then you really develop an interest in those things. Um, number six is kind of obvious. We have an amazing education system. The classes you take are so challenging, but so rewarding. Like after one semester, I feel significantly smarter just because I have such amazing professors and I read so many things and learn so many things. And then also we have so many networking events and where you can meet amazing people from uh, literally any field. There's always speakers. Bill Clinton came um, to speak and there's just, it's insane and you can always go to these events if you want but there's no pressure at the same time so you can kind of dive into it as much as you want next is our mascot so our mantra is hoya saxa uh and we're called the hoyas but our physical mascot is named jack and he's a fat little bulldog and he's so cute and he gets walked around campus and it's such a little thing but when I see him around it brightens my day and he's so cute and I'm allergic to dogs so I don't pet him but it's something and I just realized I have a towel there just try to ignore it 
Um, number eight is that we have individual schools. So I mentioned this before, there is a business school, a nursing school, a foreign service school, and then the general college. And I, it's really cute how like every school has their own culture, but they still intermingle and that people really find a sense of identity in the school that they are a part of. Number nine is the architecture. So our buildings here, um, we have some gorgeous buildings. So the main attraction is Healy Hall. It's that Harry Potter looking castle when you walk on campus. The business school I'm a part of is super beautiful with the glass and the brick, you can look it up. Um, I just think that this campus has some very nicely structured buildings and that is something I appreciate because I walk around and I think, wow, it's so pretty here. And last one, it's not really in any particular order. I don't know why this is the last or why I said some things first, but the minimum wage here, guys, is $12.50. So even if you guys don't have work study, you can find a job off campus and get paid $12.50 an hour. Like where I'm from, it's like $8.00. And so the paychecks are nice. So I hope you guys found this video helpful in some way. I am running late for work because I talked so much. But this was very much requested and college decision season is here. So hopefully this video helps some of you guys or is relatable to people who already go here or anything like that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be trying to post more very soon. Leave some questions for me, some comments about uh new video ideas that'd be really helpful and anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video